hello thank you for joining me today as I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I am having a problem with insects eating down my plant so here if you look on this color leaf you can see that it is yellowing and they're drying out all of the chlorophyll is going away from the plant and you can't see what is eating it so i am assuming that it is spider mites that is eating it because they like to go on the underside and take the chlorophyll from the leaves so i am going to be doing something i've never done in all my years of planting my garden i am going to be using a store-bought treatment to try and get rid of these because my callaloos are dying and not just the callaloo but a lot of my vegetables are not up to standard because of these mites and so I went and I got myself two products you always hear me talking about diatomaceous earth and so I went out and got myself one this is food grade by the way and then Oh, before I introduce the other one, let me tell you a bit about the diatomaceous earth. This one is food grade and its particles are very tiny and sharp. And so what happens is that as the insects crawl over it, the diatomaceous earth particles will slice into their waxy coating that the insect have on their skin and that will cause them to dehydrate and eventually die so that is what i'm going to be using along with some spider mite knockout never used this product before i don't know much about it and this is the recommendation it says that you must not spray fruits or vegetables three days within three days of picking so you have to allow three days usually if they tell me three i go longer so if they say three days i'm going to allow seven days before i can actually harvest so i'm going to be using this on the leaves of the plant and then i'm going to be putting the diatomaceous earth around the root of the plants now I'm also thinking that on a section of the plant, some of the plants, I'm going to be using the diatomaceous earth because I want to do a comparison with the two products to see when they're on the plant, what effect they will have on the spider mites and if any of them work better than the other. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm just checking if they have any specific warnings. Okay, so I'm just giving it a good shake before I get started. I don't know what the coverage of this thing is.
one thing I tell you, it is tiresome to the poor little hand. I don't want to stay in the path where this thing is being blown because if you cannot consume it within three days it means you must not be ingesting it at all so getting myself out of the way so after three days I'll be coming out to transplant the rest of these colorless. I've got quite a lot of them. one of the disadvantage of spraying after you have thinned out the crop is that a lot of it goes to waste trying to get to the underside of the leaves since as that's where these mites like to be see that they're actually farming their web on my Chinese cabbage these pasty little buggers I don't know who gave them permission to be there they don't know they need to ask me first One garden down and those cute little butterflies over there but I know exactly what they're going to be doing to my plants you would not believe that these Chinese cabbage and those kales were all planted at the same time as these ones. Look at the size of those kales and the size of these cabbage compared to the kales over here and the cabbage.
that poor kale it is suffering barely has any leaf left on it even this Chinese cabbage it's pretty much a goner I must say my cucumbers are looking good even though they're being eaten by the spider moss but sp <laughs> spider mites but they don't seem to be that bad I'm going to get my pak choy done because they are being eaten. They can hardly get the chance to grow properly because of these mites. Do you see? More webs. How dare they? I understand they need to live, but yeah. Go eat down the Dutch elm trees that are in the yard. I'd be very thankful to them if they did. <laughs> and they've got so much so many leaves that they certainly won't be out of food if they were to attack those trees but instead they choose to attack my poor little plants I don't think ochres do well here. Okay, you see this other ochre plant? Look how tiny it is. It is starting to blossom, if you can see right there. And it is no more than eight inches. And I have two other plants, and it's the same thing. They are just about eight inches. Not doing well at all. Despite the infestation with the spider moss, I would say. These kills are still doing pretty well. The effect on the kills seem to be less than that on the cabbage and on the kalaloo. I think the kalaloo is the one that is suffering the most. So I will have to give an eye out for that next year. Oh, my poor little hand. It's tired. getting so tall but you know I'm disappointed I don't know much about it anyway but I'm not seeing anything like an egg forming what is it waiting on I'm anxious okay no Hmm. 
this little can is doing quite well. It's covering a lot of areas. These are my other two walkers and they are starting to blossom as well. It would be great because this is the third year I'm trying to grow it and it's not having it at all. I think I'm gonna get all my color loose covered with this thing before I do any other plant just to make sure that I have enough and says they are the ones that suffer the most I can see that my garlic is also yellowing. I don't know if it is the mites. So previously I tried garlic treatment for the plants when I saw that they were being eaten. So since then I haven't seen any caterpillars but obviously the garlic does not work for the spider mites which is why I decided to go with a store-bought method because I didn't know what else to do My colors are all over the place because I have so much of them that I'm just trying to fit them in wherever I can find some space. I think I'm going to take out that one and put in another and the same thing for this one. They're already in a bad, very bad state. so. Since I have so many better looking ones, I'm just going to get rid of those. Okay. I know that for those leaves that are for those leaves that are very yellow, they won't be coming back. Too, they won't survive but I'm still spraying I'm spraying them because the mites are on them and I don't want the mites to spread
and these tiny little plants there I've got them in a line going all the way up are kale that I planted because they are winter vegetable so I assume that I might have enough time to be able to harvest them now my beetroot is suffering terribly under the hand of these insects as well look at this bed I feel so sorry for it it's lost most of its leaves and because of that the beads are not growing the way they should in this bed I can see that my beads are not doing too badly you can see the size of the bead that is coming there but these are not doing so well because they're being eaten so so badly I don't know if they're on my melon, but I don't want to take any chance because I really like to be able to harvest some melon this time around. First with this little can. Let's hope it impressed me further by really working and getting rid of these mites. I don't really know how often I need to use this on the plant. It didn't seem to say on the label. The moment I transplanted that cucumber, that very day it got eaten. Little is left.
going to be using what's left on my tomatoes now. Maybe I should give these guys a whiff to my potatoes. Yep, it is finishing now. Oh, I guess the garden should be happy. think the breeze can decide which way to blow. I go one way, it comes start blowing that way. Oh yeah! I've got them all covered. No, I'm happy. Oh, you know what? I've got some Chinese cabbage here. I think I want to spray those tomatoes to be frozen up in the can. Almost finish. Probably just enough to cover this last plant. There we have it. One can covered my entire garden. Okay, now I am satisfied. Okay, so I'm going to be adding the diatomaceous earth to the roots of the plants now. So that's it guys. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. 
If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification for more informative videos like these. And I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.